530. We are using her as far as uh, water rescues go. A new device is putting Depot Bay's fire and rescue crew above the rest across Oregon's coastline. Thank you for joining us tonight for News Source 16 at 530. I'm Matt Templeman. And I'm Renee McCullough. Depot Bay has been training with this new rescue robot for about a year now. And last Sunday was actually put to the test for the first time in a real life or death situation. And News Source 16's Angela Brower introduces us to Emily in tonight's top story. Angela? Matt and Renee, Sunday afternoon's water rescue was naturally a scary situation for a father and his two sons out boogie boarding. But thanks to donations, new technology, and a lot of training, a new rescue robot was able to bring that family back to the shore safely and quickly. Evo Bay Fire and Rescue calls this lifesaver Emily. Emergency integrated life saving lanyard. There are only a few nationwide and even fewer on the West Coast, but in Depot Bay, fire crews say she brings a lot to the table. What that's doing, it's allowing us not to have to put our personnel and swimmers in the water in the elements. Think of it as a big life preserver directed by remote control and powered by a motor. <laughs> like what you would see on the back of a jet ski. Also get to the victim a lot quicker. Twelve times faster than a person, Emily can rescue someone up to nearly a quarter mile away in strong currents. As soon as we get the robotic uh, uh, device out to the victims, then we're able to pull the victims back into safety. That's exactly what happened last weekend when a father and son needed help south of the Devil's Punch Bowl. It came in as uh, two kids on boogie boards that was stuck in a rip current. Dad rescued one son, but he started getting tired trying to hold on to the second. Able to take Emily right to where the father and the son was. They were able to latch onto Emily, and then uh, the beach crew was at that time able to pull him back into safety. Emily was paid for with about $4,500 in donations, but Hank Walling says the device is more than worth it. Uh, from the time that we deployed Emily to the time we got victims back on the beach was probably within about 10 minutes. Uh, if we would have had to count on our members and swimmers to do that, we would look, be looking easily at a half an hour, 45 minutes more. So could Emily work in Lane County? Local search and rescue says they've never seen it or even heard of it. But Hank told us, absolutely. We need all we can get. Anything that we can come up with that is, you know, definitely can work, then let's try it. Now, research and development on Emily continues. The Navy is looking at ways to use the device, and Emily is also helping track currents and waves across multiple states on each coast. Depot Bay has been nationally recognized for using the device and says it's been accepted very well by organizations state and nationwide. In the studio, I'm Angela Brower, News Source 16.